Well, it's the time of year to go out and enjoy some great food as you spend more time with friends and family during this holiday season. And who better to tell us all about these new <laughs> restaurants about, around the Bay is Table Hopper's Marcia Gagliardi. Marcia, thanks for joining us. Great to be back. You're staying warm? Oh, yeah. I've been having my fair <laughs> share of soup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's perfect for this time of year. Do you, you found four new restaurants, a couple in San Francisco. Let's start there. Tell us about this new one called Alta California. Yes, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just opened right across from the Twitter building. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so right location. there on, on Market and 10th. I know yeah. that was a pretty uh, fortuitous real estate move. Wonderful. And it's with uh, Daniel Patterson. Uh -huh. It's the latest in his uh, restaurant group. And he also has Plum in the East Bay mm -hmm. and Haven. And then here in the city has Quad. So he's branching out a bit. Exactly. And so what's lovely is uh, his new chef, Yoni Levy, is doing really clean, delicious food. So I had this uh, cracked wheat porridge with Hen of the Woods mushrooms. So mm, maybe after, with after the, all that holiday eating, you want yeah. something a little lighter. But then they also do a really good burger with uh, cheddar and bacon. So, <laughs> so it runs the gamut. Bases are covered. Yeah. Um, and what I love is that they're actually trying to stay open late for dinner. So, oh, good idea. you know, nice service till 1 a.m. So maybe you're out after a holiday party and mm -hmm. um, they also have cocktails. And um, okay. yeah, so cheers just to, to Just to give our viewers an idea, what would be the price range if they're going to drop in? Well, some of the dishes range around $19. The burger is $16. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a really delicious chicken confit and that's, I think, like $19. Okay. Uh, so something for everyone. Nothing Okay. You know, unless you want to ramp up or do a lot of dishes, right. but um, even if you want a quick bite. Okay, and that is Alta CA. Correct. All right. Let's move to uh, Merrigan. Some beautiful sandwiches, okay. I understand. Okay, sandwiches huh? are very near and dear to my heart. Uh -huh. <laughs> we used to have a, a deli in our family, so <laughs> I, I consider myself a connoisseur. All right. uh, so this is from Liza Shaw, who used to be a chef at uh, A16. So she really knows her way around the meats, and um, she's actually getting one and a half pigs in a week. Whoa. Yeah, that they butcher down wow. and make okay. their own meatballs. So right here you see the Italian combo, which uh -huh. I have to tell you is a gorgeous, gorgeous Highly sandwich. recommended, huh? Highly recommended. Right. Yeah, two thumbs up. Uh, what I love about it is she also had a custom roll that was made for the for the deli. Oh. Um, so she's doing kind of these East Coast style, you know, hoagies and but with a little bit of a California spin with the mm -hmm. ingredients, eggplant parm, chicken parm. She does an arista, which is this really messy pork sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> which of course is delicious, oh, right? Oh yeah, no, yeah. you're like just yeah. give me the napkin. Whenever you say messy, that means delicious. It, yeah, yeah. that's that's my criteria. Yeah. And what's great is when the um, since it's near the ballpark, it's right mm -hmm. over by Second and Brandon. Oh, so okay, when perfect. the baseball games kick yeah. back in, you'll yeah. be able to pick up a sandwich and cruise over. So that's open Monday through Saturday. You know, when we get closer to baseball season, you'll have to do something about all the, oh, all yeah. the different restaurants that have opened up near the ballpark. There's a lot going yeah. on. I'll be back yeah. for that. I'll all think right. about that. All right. <laughs> let's, move on to, let's move to the East Bay now, Yeah. Uh, where, we, where we want to talk about this new restaurant that's opened up in Berkeley. Iasare. Mm -hmm. And that's from Shotaro Kamio, who used to be the chef at Yoshi's, both in San Francisco oh, okay. and in Oakland. The so, jazz clubs. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So anybody who really loves sushi knows about show. And um, this restaurant is in the old Oshame on 4th Street, so it's this beautiful location. Mm -hmm. uh, what's great is when the uh, summertime, or actually when warmer weather kicks in, they have a patio, uh, so there'll be outdoor seating, oh, and they nice. actually, you'll be able to do tabletop hibachi grilling on your table. <laughs> oh, so, you're kidding. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So okay. he's doing, what's cool, so there, there's a little bit of sushi, but he's doing, you know, like whole grilled bronzino, mm -hmm. um, and then some interesting Japanese and Italian dishes, so like sea urchin fettuccine with smoked oysters. Wow, oh, that's yeah. exotic. Yeah. yeah. And um, lunch service as well is going to be kicking in, uh, so you can get some nice kind of lunchtime service. And, and again, just give our viewers a price range here. That one ha runs a little bit more of the gamut, because if you wanted to go for more of the high-end, you know, steak and those mm -hmm. kinds of proteins, you're going to be getting up into the $30 range. Okay. But then if you keep it down, you know, it kind of depends how <laughs> how wild you want to go. Sure. But I would say mid-range. All right. Um, yeah, there's... Okay. And we move uh, over to the Penrose in Oakland. Is yes. The next stop. So Charlie Hallowell, very much adored in the East Bay. Uh, he has a pizzaiolo and boot and shoe service where they make those oh, great pizzas. Yes. Uh -huh. So Penrose just opened right across the street. And it's kind of eclectic, fun interior because he really works with a lot of local artists. Mm -hmm. So beautiful, you know, beast, you see these like eclectic little bistro chairs and had you know this custom uh, bar that was built. Yeah. So full cocktails. And the thing is, the place is all about the wood-fired grill. Oh, so okay. you have, you know, whole grilled fish. Mm -hmm. uh, a beautiful ribeye. Again, you know, those items can go on the higher end, but maybe you want to go in for just some grilled flatbreads and oysters. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely some some excellent cocktails, and um, they're going to be open Thursday through Monday. So also oh, weekends only. Yeah, oh, but what's nice is you've got uh, Monday service. I think it's just mm -hmm. while they get their sea legs, see, and I then see. they'll probably add some some hours. Is in that there. common with restaurants? Is just to try? I let's just open a few days a week. It's a smart move. Mm -hmm. You know, they usually call it a soft opening, but because yeah. people like me end up covering <laughs> the opening so much, you have uh, they, they, you know uh, people just they're curious. They go to a restaurant sure. really quickly. Well, of course. But. And, and you, you put it on television, and you also put it on your website. <laughs> Here and, I am and, talking. And, right. so. and speaking of your website, what have you got going on there? So uh, Table Hopper comes out every Tuesday, and it's mm -hmm. free to subscribe. And so this coming week, I have a cool feature on a new wine bar that's opening in San Francisco oh. from a very respected restaurateur. Uh, also, um, a really neat new bar that's coming to uh, Dog Patch called The Third Rail. Mm -hmm. And um, I have some really great uh, holiday dinners and events coming up, too. So if you go to tablehopper.com, check it all out. Sounds Sounds fantastic. Marcia Galliardi, thanks a lot for joining us. Always a pleasure. All Cheers. Right. See you in a couple of weeks.